random video circus here, walking the streets of Westchester, Pennsylvania, getting ready for the big Christmas parade to start. years 20 freaking years unbelievable so directly behind me YouTube family is a really neat little find that I discovered if you guys remember MTV Cribs when it was Ryan Dunn's turn to show his crib well that's right up here ladies and gentlemen I'm Ryan Dunn and this is my home can't really call it a crib, it's more like a mission. It's really a piece of crap, but you're more than welcome to come in if you'd like. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that is freaking cool. That is freaking awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now off to our next location. But yeah, that was a pretty neat little find. Very, very cool. All right, on to the next location. Here I am, ladies and gentlemen, recreating the scene when uh, Bam and Deco are talking. <laughs> uh, he doesn't like have any idea, does he? And. I know where this is because I, well, my friend used to live back here and I was, I spent a lot of time in this alleyway, but anyway, if you remember, they come out this way. So directly behind me, ladies and gentlemen, is where Deco found the pamphlet, or the flyer, shall I say, for the invention of the future contest. What? What are you doing? Invention of the future contest. First place prize, a mountain bike made of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, and what's second place? A friendly smile and a handshake? Let's go. It's for 11 year olds, come on. Let's go. Now, that looks like it was on a pole and a tree. I already made an invention for the future. I made that reverse microwave, remember that shit? I need to put the Freon in it to get it to work, huh? It makes like ice so fast. Looks like the tree that was in the movie is no longer here. Looks like they uh, updated some things since filming. That used to be a tan color. But yeah, this is where it is, ladies and gentlemen. And then uh, Deco runs off this way. I'm going to do this right now, as a matter of fact, while you go get your coffee. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm kidding you, watch how kidding I am. I'm going to do this right now. You're Let's seriously leaving to go do this. So if you guys remember, there were a lot of scenes filmed over here, and I'll snap to that clip right now. Live 
covering the Libby. aftermath of a what? what? Libby, it's me, Tucker. What? You know, Tucker. Look at Tucker hogging the media. This is my friends, <laughs> Libby. I can't believe he stole your invention and completely got away with it. It's Red Roo! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask how I feel, well, what? Better than your camera, fool! Get out of my face! Oh, you know who I am? Everybody loves honking, especially when I start filming. It's freaking hilarious. But anyway, if you guys remember the scene when Ryan Dunn is literally laying there and they did a time lapse of him, that was filmed right here. there ladies and gentlemen I would recreate the scene but there's literally a, a courthouse behind me so I don't want to get in trouble but right there ladies and gentlemen and I'm gonna go And there you have it folks, that is where they took April's PT Cruiser to get souped up. Right here at Exotic Customs. Yellow! That's a Oh! Scotty Latouche! Oh my god! I always wanted his autograph. Three hat tricks in one night! Scotty, talk to me, baby! Right behind me, ladies and gentlemen, is Kildare's, where a lot of scenes were filmed as well. God, you know what he said to me? Business to take care of. Do you guys remember in Viva La Bam when Don Vito and Phil had to get singing lessons. It was right up there. Yo, everybody ready! And we went down the river and we <laughs> row, row, rowed our boat straight <laughs> down the street. Going up. So here I am, ladies and gentlemen, where Don Vito and Phil, and I believe Rab himself, were in here and uh, Don Vito and Phil were getting singing lessons, and if I'm not mistaken, that picture is in the background still. Yo, everybody running! It's still here after all this time. How crazy is that? This is all, yeah, this is where he ate the hot sauce as well. So, you guys are gonna be rock stars, huh? I think I'm tone deaf. Dude, here's your hot sauce. Because How's that gonna help you? Like, right here. That's pretty crazy. If you'll notice too, the keyboard also appears in the background of the uh, rake chase scene. This was the old record store, right? This was. 
Oh, dude, I would have looked like a total fool. <laughs> Okay, right, because I remember you could see that in the back, but like yeah, that was it. Okay. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, unrecognizable. It, as the, no, like, man, they they took the, the closet in the front where there's no window. There's a closet. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Thank you. I would have looked like a total <laughs> fool. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> okay, it was right there, ladies and gentlemen. Getting all kinds of awesome looks from people. So funny. Another thing I should mention too is if you know the town well, you can see that they jumped around a lot. Like they started here, and then the next scene is like way over town there, and then the next scene is like they're way back there. So they did a lot of movie magic in that chase scene. And like I said, if you know the town pretty well, you, you know exactly where those spots are. And like I said, they jumped around quite a bit, so I don't know, I thought I'd add that in there. This spot was actually in two movies. It was in Haggard, if you remember, when Bam needed a skateboard. He had it sent all the way down here. And you can tell by that building back there. So he had it sent all the way down there. And I believe that is actually where Rake and his demise, right there. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the middle of the scene that was in Haggard. And if you guys remember the movie Marley and Me, Owen Wilson came out of here somewhere. And that is exactly when he found out that the dog was sick. So, yeah, right here, ladies and gentlemen. That's where those scenes were filmed. So not only is this shot in the movie, but this scene right here, if you come down this way. I'm gonna get Donner to take a huge blitz in, in all your stockings, everybody's stockings. Stop saying that. Was also in the movie Marley and Me when Owen Wilson and Jennifer Aniston, they're literally coming down this way. And it's all snowy and everything, but yeah. Again, Haggard and uh, Marley and Me share something in common. Pretty crazy. you guys remember when Ryan Dunn barged it? Pretty sure it was Ryan. That was right here. He was right up there. And he came down in these bushes here. And oh man, look at that. Barge it.
you know, that's serious business. I would not want to get hurt by that. And the way I matched it up was, you can see this gate right here, and you can come out this way, and match it up. So, there you go right there. Boom, and boom. There's the shot right there, ladies and gentlemen. So do you guys remember in the opening of CKY4, it looked like Bam was having the time of his life at a college party? It's a very quick shot, very quick. But that location was right here. As you can see, shot was more like like that and then you pan over and boom there's where that was ladies and gentlemen right there Whew, it is cold it's starting to warm up a little bit but it's still freaking freezing so There's that shot, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the uh, WCU tower is being worked on. right down here and spilling out right down here and it looks like that has also changed over the years lots of changes as you can see the uh, Westchester sign is brand new and has been changed over the years since filming but that was right here that quick little shot Those who have been around long enough remember this place as The Rat, which was a bar right across the street from the college. And just like 15 North, this bar was freaking awesome. Kind of like another anything goes type of place. But anyway. Where are you guys going tonight? Home. It's pretty <laughs> Home? <laughs> Why home? It's a place to be. <laughs> Why are you guys going? Can I go with you? <laughs> Do you guys remember in the opening of CKY4 when Duco said, Blue 42, jism is goo? That happened right here. Blue 42, jism is goo! Hey! How crazy is that? Here are the bushes. There's the window he jumped out of. How cool is that, ladies and gentlemen? Pretty freaking sweet. If you've ever heard of Bam and the guys referring to Jake's Bar, that's the place we're talking about. 25 cent beers that opens at 7 a.m. Another one of Westchester's awesome, awesome, awesome bars. But yeah, anyway, that's where that's at. Daddy, no! I'm the man!
get that aggression out, man. Break some bottles. Random Video Circus here, folks. Probably at one of the best spots of Wishkill Falls. As you can see, all the mist from the water coming off. Absolutely amazing. What is up, YouTube family? This is Matt from Random Video Circus. And okay, tell me this. Are you nervous?